Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News Family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring to you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. As a part of the Immortal News Family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and tribute. Number 8. Jaden J.O. Archera, pioneering freestyle motocross athlete known for his daring feats and spirited dedication to the sport, tragically passed away at the age of 27 on February 21st morning in Melbourne, Australia, while practicing a triple backflip. Archer, an X Games medalist and the first rider to successfully perform a triple backflip in competition, left an indelible mark on the world of motocross through his relentless pursuit of progression and excellence. Archer's commitment to motocross was unparalleled, characterized by early mornings and rigorous training. His accomplishments, including landing the triple backflip at the Nitro World Games in Brisbane, Australia, in November 2022, were not just milestones in his career, but milestones in the sport itself. Beyond his athletic prowess, Archer was remembered for his heart, determination, and the positive impact he had on those around him, including being an incredible role model to the children of Travis Pastrana, founder of Nitro Circus. Tributes from the motocross community and beyond highlight Archer's exceptional character and contribution to the sport. Travis Pastrana praised him for being a great human first, a testament to Archer's personality and spirit. Ricky Melnick, senior vice president and GM of Nitro Circus, admired Archer's determination to push the boundaries of freestyle motocross referring to him as the Incredible Hulk for his strength and gentleness. Archer's legacy extends beyond his sporting achievements. His engagement to Beth King, proposed after landing his historic triple backflip, underscored the depth of his passion and commitment in every aspect of his life. His ambition to elevate freestyle motocross, evidenced by his work towards achieving a quadruple backflip, reflects a visionary athlete whose influence will continue to inspire future generations. The motocross community, fans and Archer's family, including his fiancée and parents, mourn the loss of a remarkable athlete and person. Jaden J.O. Archer's pioneering spirit and achievements in freestyle motocross have forever changed the sport, leaving a legacy of innovation, courage and dedication. Tributes to J.O. Archer Number 7. Micheline Presley, a luminary of French cinema and Hollywood's classical era, passed away at the age of 101 on 21st February 2024 in Nogent-sur-Marne. Beginning her illustrious career at the tender age of 15, Presley became a symbol of grace and talent, leaving a memorable mark on the film industry with over 50 films to her name. Her journey from early French cinema to the glamorous Hollywood scene and back to her roots in French film showcased her versatility and unwavering passion for acting. Presley's debut in the 1937 film La Fessée catapulted her into the spotlight, earning her the prix Suzanne Bianchetti as a promising young actress. Her star continued to rise with performances in iconic films such as Devil in the Flesh, capturing the hearts of audiences across Europe. Hollywood beckoned in the 1950s, where she worked with legends like John Garfield and Tyrone Power, demonstrating her ability to transcend cultural and linguistic barriers with her compelling performances. Despite her success in America, Presley's heart remained in France, where she returned to continue her career in French cinema, contributing significantly to its enrichment until 2014. Her participation in groundbreaking moments such as signing the Manifesto of the 343 revealed her as a figure of strength and advocacy, further solidifying her legacy as not just an actress but a powerful voice for women. Presley's journey through the evolving landscape of film left a legacy of pioneering achievements and memorable performances touching the lives of many and inspiring future generations. Her elegance, talent, and dedication to her craft made her a beloved figure in the world of cinema, celebrated for her contributions to both French and international film. Tributes to Micheline Presley. Number 6. Hydea Broadbent 
a beacon of hope and resilience in the fight against HIV AIDS, passed away at the age of 39 on February 20th. Born into a life of immense challenge, Broadbent became an iconic figure, turning her personal battle into a public crusade that illuminated the lives of many. Her early diagnosis did not deter her. Instead, it fueled her commitment to activism, making her voice a powerful instrument of change from the tender age of six. Hydea's journey was marked by adversity, yet her spirit remained unbreakable. Adopted by Lauren and Patricia Broadbent after being abandoned, she faced the harsh reality of living with HIV from a very young age. Despite predictions that she would not live past childhood, Hydea defied all odds not just surviving but thriving as a formidable advocate for HIV AIDS awareness. Her activism was not confined to the borders of the United States. It echoed globally, making her a beloved figure on platforms as vast as the Oprah Winfrey Show and international AIDS conferences. Her message was clear and impactful. HIV AIDS was not to be a silent battle. Through her foundation and numerous public appearances, including a memorable statement at the 1996 Republican National Convention, I am the future and I have AIDS. She challenged stigma and ignorance. Hydea's work transcended mere advocacy. It was a heartfelt plea for empathy, understanding, and change. Beyond her public persona, Hydea's life was a testament to the power of hope and the human spirit's capacity to overcome. Her legacy is not just in the speeches she gave or the awards she received, it is in the lives she touched, the minds she changed, and the hearts she warmed. Her advocacy work continues to inspire a new generation of activists, reminding us that while the battle against HIV-AIDS is far from over, voices like Hydea's light the path forward. As we remember Hydea Broadbent, we celebrate not only her contributions to HIV-AIDS activism, but also her indomitable spirit and the profound impact she had on the world. Her life was a message of courage, determination, and love. A beacon for all those fighting their own battles, showing that adversity can be met with strength and grace. Tributes to Heidi Broadbent. Number 5. Ewan McIntosh, beloved for his portrayal of Big Keith in The Office, passed away at the age of 50. While the cause of his passing has not been disclosed, his departure marks a significant loss in the world of comedy. McIntosh, best known for his deadpan humor and unforgettable character in the seminal British series, left an enduring mark on fans and colleagues alike. His character, Keith Bishop, became iconic for moments like the appraisal scene with David Brent, showcasing Macintosh's exceptional comedic timing. Beyond The Office, Macintosh's talent shone through in various roles across British television, including appearances in Miranda and Little Britain. His ability to steal scenes, even from the likes of Ricky Gervais and Martin Freeman, spoke volumes about his talent. Tributes from the comedy world highlight his impact, with Ricky Gervais calling him an absolute original and Stephen Merchant praising his scene-stealing prowess. Macintosh's warmth and humor extended off-screen as well. His contributions to comedy were not limited to acting. He was actively involved in Edinburgh's comedy scene and participated in charity endeavors, showing his commitment to making people smile in every aspect of his life. Friends and colleagues remember him not just for his comedic talent but for his kindness, empathy, and integrity. Tributes from Miranda Hart, Matt Lucas and others reflect a man beloved for his humor and humanity. His role in the office might have been that of a laconic accountant, but Macintosh brought depth, warmth, and an unforgettable presence to every character he portrayed. As the comedy world mourns his loss, the legacy of laughter he leaves behind will continue to bring joy to audiences for generations to come. Tributes to Ewan Macintosh. Number 4. David Libert, a pivotal figure in the American music scene, passed away at the age of 81 on February 20th. His illustrious career spanned from being a founding member of The Happenings to a revered music executive, touching the lives of many with his artistic and managerial prowess. Born in Patterson, New Jersey, Libert's musical journey began with The Happenings, 
where he contributed to hits that marked the 1960s with their melodic joy. See You in September and their rendition of I Got Rhythm are testaments to the vibrant era of music to which he contributed significantly. Transitioning from performer to one of the industry's most influential figures, Libert's career arc was remarkable. As Alice Cooper's tour manager during the artist's most formidable years, Libert's impact was profound, not just behind the scenes but also in his creative contributions, including background vocals on the Billion Dollar Babies album. His move to Los Angeles in 1975 marked a new chapter, establishing the David Libert Agency and later Available Entertainment, where he represented iconic acts like George Clinton and Parliament Funkadelic, showcasing his versatility and vision in the music industry. Libere's legacy is not just in the music he helped create and the careers he guided but also in his written word. His autobiography, Rock and Roll Warrior, offers a personal glimpse into the life of a man who lived at the heart of rock and roll, sharing his experiences with honesty and humor. His work across various facets of the industry, from producing and promoting to writing hit songs for others, underscores a career defined by passion and influence. His contribution to the fabric of American music, his mentorship of emerging talents, and his ability to spot and nurture genius have left a memorable mark. As we remember him, we celebrate not just the music he made but the lives he touched and the vibrant legacy he leaves behind. Tributes to David Libert Number 3. Damo Suzuki, the visionary Japanese vocalist whose tenure with the groundbreaking German experimental rock band Can Defined an Era, passed away at the age of 74 on February 9th. Suzuki's home in Cologne, Germany, was where he spent his final moments, after a long battle with colon cancer diagnosed in 2014. Despite the odds and enduring more than 40 surgeries, Suzuki's spirit remained indomitable until the end. Embarking on a nomadic journey from Japan to Europe as a teenager, Suzuki's eclectic musical style defied genre constraints, often delving into realms that felt shamanic and transcendent. His philosophy, if you're a creative person, it's important to break rules, resonated through his work with Khan, where his vocal performances were nothing short of mesmerizing. Suzuki's contributions to albums like Tagomago, Ege Bamyasi, and Future Days, not only solidified Can's status in the pantheon of experimental music, but also influenced countless artists across genres, from alternative rock to hip-hop. After leaving Khan, Suzuki's musical journey continued with his project Damo Suzuki's Network, embodying the concept of instant composing with over 7,000 musicians worldwide, creating spontaneous music that captivated audiences and fellow artists alike. His approach to music and life taught many the power of living in the moment, creating something magical from the spontaneity of human connection. Suzuki's legacy is one of innovation, resilience, and an unyielding commitment to the art of sound. His work transcended conventional music making, leaving a lasting impact on the experimental music scene and beyond. Friends, collaborators, and admirers remember him not just for his musical genius, but for his remarkable ability to inspire and bring people together through the universal language of music. Tributes to Damo Suzuki Number 2. Rudolf Janssen, a distinguished Dutch pianist renowned for his mastery in light accompaniment and chamber music, passed away at the age of 84 on February 12th in Lauren. Janssen's illustrious career was characterized by his collaborations with some of the most eminent vocalists of his time, including Ellie Ameling, Barbara Bonney, Peter Schreier, and Dietrich Fischer Dieskau. His dedication to music extended beyond performance. He was a revered educator at the Sweelink Conservatory of Amsterdam and the Musikhochschule Nuremberg, where he nurtured the next generation of musicians. Born in Arnhem on January 19, 1940, Janssen's musical journey began under the guidance of his father, Simon Seed Janssen. 
His studies at the Swelink Conservatory under luminaries such as Nelly Wagenaar and Gustav Leonhardt laid the foundation for a career that would see him acclaimed both nationally and internationally. Janssen's exceptional talent was recognized early on, with accolades including the Tunkunst, Jubileum Prix, and the prestigious Edison Award, which he won twice. Janssen's legacy is not only in the music he performed but also in the knowledge and passion he imparted to countless students through his teaching and masterclasses. He was instrumental in establishing a class for Lyad at the Swelink Conservatory, underscoring his commitment to this intimate genre of music. Personal life saw him married to Krista Feiler, a singer with whom he shared not just a life but the stage, further blending his personal and professional worlds in beautiful harmony. Rudolf Janssen's impact on the world of classical music is memorable. He leaves behind a rich legacy marked by exquisite performances, dedicated mentorship, and a profound influence on both the art of accompaniment and the appreciation of chamber music. His passing is a significant loss to the music community, but his contributions will continue to inspire future generations of musicians. Tributes to Rudolf Janssen Today's top headlines. News 1. In a shocking turn of events at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory parade, a peaceful celebration turned tragic. Lindell Mays, 23, and Dominic Miller, 18, found themselves embroiled in an unexpected conflict that escalated within mere seconds. In a startling admission to authorities, Mays revealed he randomly picked someone to shoot amidst a heated argument, highlighting the chaos that ensued. Amidst the festive atmosphere, what began as a verbal dispute quickly spiraled into a scene of panic and fear. Authorities describe how the disagreement between two groups led to a horrifying exchange of gunfire. In a desperate attempt to protect himself, Mays made the split-second decision to fire his weapon, despite his initial reluctance due to the presence of children. The altercation saw Miller, caught in a vulnerable moment, continued to defend himself even after being wounded. The incident, lasting no more than 17 seconds, has left the community in shock, mourning the loss of innocence at a celebration meant to unite. This tragic event underscores the importance of safety and vigilance in public gatherings, reminding us of the unforeseen dangers that can erupt even in moments of joy. News 2 New York Knicks star Julius Randle opens up about his challenging journey to recovery following a dislocated shoulder that benched him since late January. In his first remarks since the injury, Randle shares a blend of hope and concern, highlighting his dedication to rejoining his team on the court as swiftly as possible. Yet he doesn't shy away from the possibility of undergoing surgery to ensure his long-term health and performance. Despite missing the All-Star game to focus on rehabilitation, Randall's spirits are high as he speaks about progress and the unwavering support from the Knicks medical staff. As the Knicks navigate through a season of highs and lows, Randall's resilience and determination shine as a beacon of optimism for the team and fans alike, eagerly awaiting his return to action. News 3. In a candid and deeply moving update, Wendy Williams' family has broken their silence on the iconic daytime TV host's health struggles, painting a picture of a journey marked by resilience yet shadowed by challenges. Best known for her charismatic presence on The Wendy Williams Show. From 2008 to 2021, Williams has faced a series of health issues that have led her away from the spotlight, stirring concern among her legion of fans. Revealing the extent of Williams' battles with addiction, cognitive issues, and the impact of personal losses, her family's revelations come ahead of the poignant Lifetime documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? The film promises an unflinching look at Williams' struggles, including alarming moments of apparent memory loss, as shared by those closest to her. As Williams remains in a facility for cognitive treatment, her situation is compounded by legal measures that limit direct family contact, igniting questions about her care and the path that led to her current state. Despite the harrowing circumstances and the legal complexity surrounding her guardianship, 
Williams' family's message is one of unwavering support and hope for recovery. This update not only sheds light on the personal trials of a public figure, but also underscores the broader challenges of navigating mental health and addiction in the limelight. News 4 In a heartfelt update that has captured the attention of fans and followers alike, beloved TV personality Matt Baker shares his latest health ordeal, revealing a challenging battle with a herniated disc. Known for his vibrant energy and adventurous spirit, the former Blue Peter presenter's journey took a turn when he was admitted to the hospital for a nerve block injection, a testament to his resilience and commitment to recovery. At 46, Baker's struggle with back issues isn't new, tracing back to a harrowing horse riding accident that once fractured his back. Yet, his proactive approach, including the recent treatment and a rejuvenating stay at Champney Spa, showcases his unwavering positivity. Baker's candid share, complete with a black and white video glimpse into his experience, not only brings his health journey to light, but also ignites a wave of support from fans and peers alike, including fellow adventurer Ben Fogel. As Baker navigates this setback with grace and gratitude towards the NHS team and the comforting nostalgia of a nurse's care, his story is a powerful reminder of the challenges behind the camera and the strength found in community and expert care. Number one, Amin Siani, the beloved voice of Indian radio and a pioneer in the world of broadcasting, passed away at the age of 91 in Mumbai following a heart attack. Siani, with his enchanting voice, became a household name across India through his iconic show, Binaka Geet Mala. His journey in radio, which began in the 1950s, saw him capturing hearts with his unique style of presentation and his warm, engaging manner of addressing his audience as sisters and brothers. Sayani's career was marked by a significant shift when he started hosting Geet Mala on Radio Ceylon, moving away from All India Radio due to restrictions on Hindi film songs. His show became a staple for music lovers, offering a countdown of hit songs that resonated with listeners across generations. Despite the eventual decline of radio's popularity with the advent of television, Sayani's influence and legacy remained undiminished. He compared over 58,000 radio programs and voiced 19,000 radio spots and jingles, leaving an enduring impact on the broadcasting landscape. Beyond Geet Mala, Sayani contributed significantly to radio through various other programs, including the Bournevita Quiz Contest, and Swanash, a series on HIV-AIDS. His work extended beyond entertainment, touching lives and educating listeners. In recognition of his contributions, Saragama released a compilation titled Amin Sayani Presents Geet Mala Ki Chaun Main, celebrating the history of Geet Mala and featuring interviews with luminaries of the Hindi film industry. Tributes to Sayani highlight his impact on Indian broadcasting and the deep connection he forged with listeners. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur both expressed their sorrow and admiration for Sayani, acknowledging his role in revolutionizing Indian broadcasting and the enduring legacy of his golden voice. Amin Sayani's passing marks the end of an era in Indian radio, but his voice and the memories he created will forever remain in the hearts of those who grew up listening to him. Tributes to Amin Sayani